Hello everybody, what's up? Cedric and CJ here, CR Wrestling Commentary, and we will be reviewing Ring of Honor's Death Before Dishonor. Yeah, we know this is late, but, uh, and also, the, yesterday I checked, there was no G1 up, and then today Cedric checks and there's two up, so we got that too. Uh, so we're going to jump into this so we can watch G1 and try to get that done. Um, okay, so, this, uh, Death Before Dishonor. This begins with uh, the Beast Mortos versus Commander. And honestly, was this a good match? For those that like this, it was an amazing match. For me, I'm like, they kept doing so good and then not. It is so good and then not. So they did everything anyone on the show will and or can do. The match ends with Mortos applying the accordion rack backbreaker and then a rear lift into a tombstone power driver. And that's the three count. He got the win with that. They did brain busters, destroyers, some epic backbreakers, slams off the very top rope, uh, poison runners, Franken, no, yeah, Frankensteiners, I think one or two Hurricanrunners, dives and stuff to the outside, uh, slams and drivers on the apron. I mean, half the match, I'll be honest with you, half the match back in the 80s would have been career ending angles. Then they come back and it's a fight. Another half of the match was a stunt show and the Beast Mortatos, I like him. I like him too. I like to see him wrestle somebody his size. I like to see him wrestle somebody that can wrestle. But we stopped watching Ring of Honor because it was, we was following, we loved, the only thing that was up there was the Minions, the Ring of Honor champion was doing jobs on the other show. Yeah. And okay. the TV champion at the time was doing jobs on the other show. And their tag champions and their women's champion starting at, the women's champion had always headlined the show. Tag champions were doing mediocre work. And then it got to the point, they stopped showing the minion segments. Mm -hmm. Two weeks. No minions. We, we were done. We was already watching enough stuff. I was ill. Cedra wasn't feeling too well. And the part that kept us there, they stopped showing. So we stopped watching. Yeah, there was really no point. And I wanted something else to do, so I got into SmackDown. So that's where that came from. <laughs> and the Beast Mortos, what was you going to say? Oh, Mortos, um, I think he might be the kind of wrestler that's going to go to that can flex with various styles. That's why I would like to see him wrestle a non lucha. Yeah. I like his look. It's a throwback to the to the characters of the WWE or WWF when I was a kid. And when he moves his mouth, the mask moves. I don't know how he did that. Yeah. I thought that was cool. <laughs> um, I just I I enjoyed him and the and the, the backbreaker he put on Commander. Commander at the end of the match. My goodness, it was it was gorgeous. I think I I think I rewound that three times. <laughs> she it did. was wonderful. <laughs> it was really good. So I would like to see more of the Beast Mortos. If just you, not wrestling. If you watch this match, you could tell Commander is not that experienced. You can see it. The Beast Mortos had to legitimately halt any offense and just say, okay, now it's a change. You can see it happen. I'm mm -hmm. like, wow, this is bad. But Commander, no. I'm, I mean, you can't dive on somebody all day, every day in the ring, outside the ring, and then your finisher is a, a, rope, a top rope run shooting star press. <laughs> you... You see what I'm saying? It's not like you're going to be any heavier for that move than you were for the others. Yeah. If they didn't work, why is this one going to work? It's, it's just logic. Yeah. Okay, so next we see a promo from MXM Collection 
Um, and I was like, it's beyond odd and unsettling. I couldn't hear them. The TV was up, but they're talking so low because they want you to know things that they're gonna do, especially to FTR, because they're uh, fabulous. And that's, uh, they're models. If they were on the pre-show, we won't see it. They should have put them on the main show. Their because models, they, 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 their makeup was very good. Look, I don't give a <laughs> damn. Look, I don't care one damn bit about sexual orientation. I care about presentation. That's their presentation. And their presentation is low volume. Hopefully they'll be higher volume when they are presented at other points. They look, I'm gonna tell you this, they present themselves almost like the genius. Don't touch my face, not the face. This is my bread and butter. Or uh, Martin, Martel. Martel, he touched me. Like Johnny B. Bad, he touched me, don't touch me. Mm -hmm. You know, that. I don't mind that. Just, they couldn't be heard. Yes. I, I get all their stick, we just couldn't hear you. <laughs> Who are you? Why should we care about you? Th that kind of thing. Yeah. So, and they're gonna be wrestling FTR, and I'm like, I don't care. I, I don't I don't know. I might watch it just to see what they can do. Okay, that just happened. Did it stop recording? Okay, did, you saw the screen flicker, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, that that was crazy. Something back there clicked. Probably the 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 floor freezer clicked. Probably. Yeah, I heard that. I don't know what's going on, but that. Okay, six oh eight p.m. Got to remember that. All right. Um. So we get to the Ring of Honor Tag Team Title Match. Um, Kyle O'Reilly and Tomohiro Ishii, part of the conglomeration. Yeah. It's like a corporate thing. Versus. The kingdom. Okay. Um, let's see. Cedra said, and I had to paraphrase. It could be argued the challengers will lose because Ishii isn't staying in Ring of Honor. But on the other hand, Tony Khan wipes his ass with Ring of Honor, so he might hang the belts on the challengers. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Before you continue. A conglomeration, a number of different things, parts, or items that are grouped together, a collection, which is exactly what the three of them are. Yep. I, I was almost 100% sure that that's what it meant. I just wanted to be sure before I spoke. Okay. They are hodgepodge. They just mash them together with some glue and Velcro and say, make it work. Usually it's part of chaos, and that's pretty much what they are. They just don't help each other. Yeah, they don't help each other. So Unless it's desperate. That was like once it was desperate. And Yoshihashi damn near killed himself trying to help. Yep, injured himself. <laughs> oh my goodness. He came out there. And then he dropped. The house of fire. And then dropped. Like, oh it no. like the floor opened up. And he just sank right into it. And then he eventually got up. And you didn't see him for like six months. Yep. It's like, damn. Is that, is that what you get for trying to help? <laughs> That's why a, they don't run out of here. Six months vac forced vacation. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Let's see. Our, uh, okay, so super long match with tons of the refs standing doing nothing to maintain control of the match. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. She just standing there like, well, I'm on vacation. I guess she wanted to watch. She was she was probably trying to be like Seth Rollins. His match was uh, he, as he was refereeing. You didn't see that, but he didn't do a damn thing too much. <laughs> they start beating each other on the outside, and, and Punk and McIntyre and Seth just. Relax himself up on the top rope, like, yeah, y'all have at it. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't even disagree with that. <laughs> Go to town. Both teams cut the ring off, performed double team moves without setting up for them, which was good. It looked like a flow. Mm. That's beautiful. I like that. They don't, because double, double teams, well, you know what they do. They just stand there, like, okay, do this, do that, do that. No, no. It just went into it. But well, keep in mind, Everyone in the ring is a tag team specialist. Yes. But only two of them tag team with each other often. Yeah. Okay. But, but that'd be a credit 
to O'Reilly and Ishii for being able to mesh. Yes. And they did very simple double teams, but that it don't matter. Yeah. It don't matter. They was there for each other. You know, and they were saving their partners the whole time. Both teams with this so this right here had everything. These people were there for each other. And I wrote, it's an easy five star match until because that that right there was it was like I it had every making everything mm-hmm. oh yeah and I then feel. yep Kyle Fletcher came to the ring with Don Callis to distract O'Reilly low blow roll up champs retain Kyle Fletcher was coming to the dang ring I was like who the hell is that yeah, he we didn't looked, recognize him. He looked like he should have been talking shit to Danielson and the original Karate Kid. Yep. A complete 80s throwback. Suck-ass blonde hair, the cut-off shirt, <laughs> jeans. I was like, what? Uh-huh. Who sent you out your hotel room looking like this? It was terrible, wasn't it? It was terrible. Then we get a Texas death match. Layla Hirsch versus Diamante. And I wrote, what the hell? Okay. Uh, hold up. The Bay Dark. What the? I know what I wrote, but why did you type this? It's supposed to say, they duel the chairs, but T H B E Y D U L K. So, the Bay Dark. So they duel the chairs, and Hirsch is thrown from the stage, breaking a table. She also bounces off of. Diamante shouts at the ref, start the fucking count. <laughs> Layla's up by nine. Hirsch uh, is in the tree of woe, and a chair against her face falls, so she quickly picks it up, and the fans laugh. Yeah. And commentary, tri- commentary tries to cover it up by saying she covered herself for protection. They tried. <laughs> skipped we skipped I wrote get the tax out and more tables and trash can lids and such and have Layla win the match that was best made for Diamante so we unpause at some point Diamante is taped to the table Hirsch climbs the ladder we see the tax in the ring the le- climbs the ladder from the actual top she does a moonsault Layla barely gets to her feet on nine and Diamante is declared knocked out no Layla may have may have uh, injured her, her, her arm or elbow uh, doing the moonsault as her hand drug down the ladder. It may have jerked the elbow out, out in the process. Yeah, and she hit Diamante with knees only for that moonsault. Her upper body was completely off of it. It's lucky that Layla hit just her arm on the way down and not her skull. Yep. So that's, that's how that went. So then... That's the garbage match. So now we got the Pure Rules title match. Lee Moriarty versus Wheeler Yuta. Oh, man. So I predict Yuta to win a match best suited for Moriarty. So this is a good match. Rope break. Moriarty grabs them after Yuta applied a rolling knee bar. Then there's a warning behind the ref. Lee forearms Yuta who punches him in anger as the ref informs the announcer of the punch and the warning, Lee punches Yuta behind (laughs) the ref's back. But the warning took away a mark. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's bull. Right? Yeah. So then, rope break to escape the Fujiwara, Lee grabs a, put a leg uh, on the ropes. Okay, then a warning, Moriata punched Yuta. Then a rope break. Yuta gets a foot on the rope to escape the Border City stretch that he was in for a while. And then a final rope break. <laughs> Yuta gets a foot on the rope to escape a series of submission holes. Then a final rope break. Moriarty gets a foot on the rope to escape the cattle mutilation or the bridging double arm chicken wing. The fans chant for Lee to win. They want Lee to win. Mm hmm. Moriarty uses the ropes to reverse the Fujiwara into a roll-up with his feet on the ropes, and it was legal. New champ. The fans chant that he deserved it, but they would chant anyone deserve it. I could have ran to the ring and clubbed one of them in the head with a spike. He'd be bleeding out <laughs> dead. I wouldn't have tied him. Like, you deserve it. They I don't think they would have chanted for Yuta. Yuta's had it forever, and nobody really likes Yuta. Nobody likes Yuta. Yep. 
I used to be high on you too. And then Ring of Honor, you know, changed. Yeah. Um, Yuta doesn't shake the hand. Instead, he places the belt on Lee and the fans pop for it. So that's good. When they, they talked about the build-up, Yuta was talking about how he hasn't been able to beat Moriarty. He hasn't been able to beat him. I'm the pure champion. I haven't beaten you. So he got beat by this dude and dude won the pure championship. So it must be legit. I can't beat you, dude. Can't be mad about it. Because Lee Moriarty is a freaking wrestler. He is a wrestler. We watched him in that um, other promotion. It won't GCW. It was something else. That's the first time we saw him. And I was like, this dude is good. Yeah, it was Teddy Long's defunct one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this dude is good. Yeah. I was like, he, he is so good. And then he showed up at Ring of Honor. No. It was a... No, yeah, it was Ring of Honor it first. Was Ring of Honor first before Ring of Honor was sold. And then and, he showed up, and he was he was good. He was good. Uh, John Progression acknowledged him. Jay Lethal was begging him to, to join Ring of Honor because uh, he was slated to go to AEW. Yep. And then Tony Khan got Ring of Honor, and, well, look what happened then. Yep. Ring of Honor was a fucking dynasty, man. It was a dynasty. And, um, Ring, and this house, they had a full house yeah. for Ring of Honor. A full house with a crowd that was all the way live. This was a modernized Ring of Honor crowd. Yeah. So now we get to the Ring of Honor Women's World Television title match. Red Velvet versus Billy Stars. Oh, and I'm glad I was wrong about Lee losing because I was like, this is best stated, slated for Moriarty, and he won. Yeah. And I called it on Diamante too. Like, yeah. Diamante should have won, but she lost. Yeah. You know? So... Red Velvet versus Billy Starks. Red Velvet looked great. Her outfit was fire. She had on a bright <laughs> yellow with red and blue trim. She had red and yellow braids in the hair. She was perfectly coordinated and she looked like good. She was wearing gold to me. Like, not legit gold, but really close. It was very it was like a metallic canary yellow. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see, what's this? Uh, I wrote a good match for the most part. Billy played Hurt. Red didn't fall for it. Crowd was, yeah. So Billy's been doing this on and off. And I said she should only do it once. Mm -hmm. And they, 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 they flubbed that. So now it looks terrible. Because now Billy can't really get away with it. Nope. And the ref was like a freaking idiot trying to keep Velvet from her. Yeah. You know, so they got to pro on. Are you hurt? Let's get you back in the ring. Are you hurt? Uh, hold, hold up. Are you hurt on the floor holding your neck? Are you hurt? Let's lift you by your shoulder blade and roll you half over, wobbling your neck. And put you in the ring. If you have a neck injury, what the hell is putting her in the ring going to do? So Maybe that'll fix it. It makes Doc and Ref look, look stupid. stupid. Velvet look like, I don't believe this. And I'm, I'm just, Velvet got herself nice and pretty in the ring. Mm -hmm. She straightened up her yeah. outfit, straightened up her top because yeah. she'd been having problems after she got foot stomped on it. Yeah, she stepped on the boobs and they weren't sitting right. So she had to get them all straight. And if got, she got everything straight. Got she her hair ready, nice. Ready to go. But yep. had her fuck on dress face on like, I ain't falling for this boy. Yep. Got her knee pads up. Get, get your ass back in the ring. Let's do this. Yep. Uh, and... Velvet didn't fall for it. She, she, she beat her ass, mm -hmm. and she hit a front flip, nearly DDT, and got the pin. New champ. Uh, note: Velvet seems to carry herself with a higher level of seriousness. Yeah, that is what I took from it, and that's what I liked. After she came back from the injury, and was on Ring of Honor, she was a different Red Velvet. Yes, she was all about business. Yes. And so every time she's coming, she we've seen her wrestle since then, which hasn't been a lot because we start, well, start watching. But she's been good. She's been on. She's been crisp. She hasn't been floundering about or doing stupid dives. She, she's got, I don't know who got a hold of her. I don't know what happened. I don't know if she legit been hanging with Queen Amanada, but it, it was she's a She's not doing her stupid stuff. Yeah, she's not all the stuff she was doing when she was just, you know, AEW, Dynamite, Dark, yeah. where she almost killed herself. Several almost, hands for the time. Almost every match. She almost did something to break her damn neck or leg. And so. also she became poor of a powerhouse. She came back. She was a little heavier. And she did fewer dives. And she's a lot more forceful when she's throwing her strikes. Yes. A lot more. Almost Aminata more. Almost. 
she's getting there. But remember, got to keep in mind, Billy Starks, very young. She ain't been wrestling that long. She's got another seven years before hopefully she would have fully and thoroughly found herself. But she could do that in the next two to three years. But Billy is still learning. She's still a rookie. But if she puts herself around the right people, she, you're right, she could fast track it some. Yes, she could. Pick up on those little things. Learn pacing. Learn timing. You know, learn how to work the crowd. Learn to kind of listen and cater to a little bit of the fans just to give them enough to make them feel good about it if you're a baby face or a, a, a heel that the fans like you and then move on just a little bit. It's like Velvet. It's basically what Velvet did. I, I don't know what she did when she was away other than heel. But, yeah, she's she's, Somet she's more seasoned. Sometimes when you go away and you got nothing to do but think about stuff, it, it pops in your head what you could have done, what you should have learned, what you need to apply, and how you could come back better. And then that's it. And yeah. maybe that's what happened. Maybe. Um, next is the tag team match, Dark Order versus Dustin and the Von Erics. So we skipped it because we've been sick of the Dark Order. Dustin picks up the pinfall after a corkscrew brain buster. Nice, good, love it. All right, let's move on. Yep. Yeah, Ring, Dustin. Of, Ring of Honor television elimination title match, survival of the fittest. So it's Johnny TV, Shane Taylor, Lee Johnson, Brian Cage, Leo Rush, and Atlantis Jr., who was the current champion going into this. And it was just a stunt match. And I was ready to skip. And... Then there was a range of there's just a range of singles matches. That's all it was. Yeah. Various singles matches. I was like, this is not a Ring of Honor elimination six way match. No. This is not it. They used to do that six way match is great. This is crappy. And I didn't even know when Shane Taylor got eliminated, but he was first to go. And I just wrote Taylor eliminated by group effort. That's all I wrote. It was group effort, but Leo got the pin. Okay. That's embarrassing. So Lee Johnson eliminates Leo Rush with a vertical reverse uh, DDT. Cage and TV eliminate Johnson with an aided springboard Gamagiri. The light TV completely missed. Mm -hmm. Cage eliminates TV with a power driver. Cage eliminated by Atlantis Jr. via a roll up. A roll up that. <sighs> okay, he was rolled up, his legs were kicking. But you absolutely, positively know that Brian Cage is strong enough in his upper body to have popped out of that with no problem whatsoever. Exactly. I was it, looking at his lower body, his upper body, which were on the mat, not moving, legs and feet going, just 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 going. But the rest of them, I'm like, man. And I get, I he get, could've, the, he could have cramped and got free. <laughs> I I get, I get it, I I I get it. Okay, I do. Hey, look. Shoulder blades got to be down, right? They weren't. They weren't. He was up on his neck. His shoulder blades were so off the mat. His, tra tra his, his traps were on his the mat. His traps were on the mat. <laughs> but for all intents and purposes, he his his his, 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 his shoulders were down. Just get it over with. Yeah. Just just get it over with. So, Komei, what? Well, it's annoying because we've seen what Brian Cage can be. Mm hmm And although he still wears the stupid get my shitty and stuff, when he wrestles one on one, he's always jobbing. He yeah. rarely wins. He's a good promo. And he got a great body. He's got a really good move set. And if he keeps his lightweight wrestler moves to a minimum, which he has when we were last watching, he was keeping that stuff to a minimum, which helped. But they don't. This this company doesn't like large wrestlers. Nope. They they don't. I don't even know who to blame it on anymore. That's why I said this company and not Tony Khan. But this company doesn't like large wrestlers. Tony Khan owns the company. Tony Khan, by and large, call the shots. Brian Cage. Or Shane Taylor should have won that match. Yeah. That's how it should have been. Shane Taylor should have been TV champion almost as soon as they got Ring of Honor back on TV. Yeah. That's how that should have been. That's how it should have been. 
He should have been right back as the baddest damn champion. Held that belt through everything, through anything. And those that can beat him, he should beat them barely. Mm -hmm. And I mean scarily barely. And it should and it, they ruined the prestige of the ROH TV title. Because that belt was almost seen as more important than the world title. Samoa Joe came. Samoa Joe dominated. He owned it. Couldn't nobody beat him. And he was like, oh, shoot. I'm going to go after the heavyweight title. I so drop it. I drop it. And they give it to Kyle O'Reilly, who goes and jobs for anybody on, on one of the flagship Kyle Fletcher. shows. Sorry, wrong Kyle. Kyle Fletcher. Who goes and, 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 and gets jobbed out on the flagship show. And he's a champion. That's probably why they didn't give it. They, they, of course, they're not going to give it to Shane Taylor. One, because he is atypical. I'm going to put it that way. Yeah. Two, he, he wouldn't have done that. No, they put Shane on Collision and others and job him out. Yeah, but if he was the title holder, I don't know if he would have done that. He would have. You got to listen to the boss. You got Even to. Even if they're idiots. Yeah, I know. I know. WWE would do good to get a hold of Shane Taylor, get him in a workout program, and present him as somebody worthwhile to be world champion. But they're not going to do that. Because as you said, he's atypical. He's atypical. He's atypical. And uh, WWE wouldn't uh, recruit him unless they're going to put him in some kind of stupid group and give it a stupid name. And then have him do tag team job matches. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, man. So next we get the women, uh, the Ring of Honor. Uh, no, no, no. Hold up. I'm too high. Too high. I'm talking too long. Okay, Ring of Honor Women's World Title Match. Queen Aminata, the challenger, versus the champion, Athena. And I know they got Athena as the challenger on the marquee. It's almost foreshadowing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Queen Aminata came out first, and her ring attire, she's a complete vibe. Her colors, the, the drape she had on, her head wrap. It was it. She created her own pageantry. She's African as fuck. She created her She's own the, pa she, pageantry, and, and that's what she projects upon. The only the true only. one African the female one. wrestler. The one. The one. The one. And the one only. And only. Yes. African wrestler. Female African wrestler. Mm -hmm. That's what she prides herself on. And I'm like, that's awesome and nice, but they 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 gonna frown on that. They, they they gonna frown on that, um, because of how this country is, and the crowd didn't. <laughs> no, because they they were at one point they was chanting the one, the one, the one. Um, but this crowd was chanting for both of them, primarily Athena. Athena is so damn over. Athena is over as fuck. Queen, but Queen Aminata is so heavy hitting. She is so she good. Pulls you in. You can't. She's so good. You can't help but to you. You her can't help but to root for her. Her facial expressions. Her facial expressions. Oh my goodness! Her and Athena with those facial expressions. I mean, I got that facial expression like you know I'm gonna bust your ass right. Yeah. I love that. And Athena, she had that facial expression like you know I'm gonna fuck with you right. You know, you know you don't walk. You know you walked into my ring. Mm -hmm. You could. It. You don't it. have to read the lips. You can see it on their face. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. You can see what they're thinking on their face. I love it's it. It's almost as if they were in an actual fight and the crowd weren't there. Yes. Like they didn't know the crowd was around them. Mm -hmm. mm. Beautiful, right? Yeah. And um, so I, I was telling CJ before this match started. I said, Aminata should not win that belt. She cannot win that belt. She needs to come close or kind of close. But she cannot win that belt because she, for all that I know, has not had, outside of the little proving ground crap, an actual title match. Yeah. All right. You need to have someone come in, look good, almost win. So now they're a viable threat. Once they're the viable threat, then you can build up later and they can win. 
That's what you need to do. You don't bring them in and they just, okay, they had all these matches. They've established themselves. The crowd know them. She's in a title match. She win. No. You don't do that with anyone of any gender or sex or whatnot. You don't. So that's, they, so she needs to lose, but make it seem like, no, maybe she should have won. Mm -hmm. You need to make it look that way. So they get into it. And I went, damn great match. Yeah. I'm not a display. She can carry a match, hold her own, make it look believable. She didn't gas out. Until. Athena delivered a tombstone power drive on the steps from the apron. And it's great because they were leveled. But I'm not a sold it wonderfully. She stayed on the floor. Problem. That could have been an injury angle. Count out victory. I'm not an injury for a few months. Makes a comeback. Challenges and then wins without teasing the injury. Still, she fought on and made you think she would win the damn thing. Now, see, that's talent. Mm -hmm. But that spot, I, I can see if she slammed her on it, fine. Worked her knee on it, her, her arm, or slammed her head on it or something, I'd have been fine with that. But she dropped it with a tombstone, and then the way she fell off, that should have been it. Mm -hmm. That should have been it. I mean, I'd have made that look, so, oh, man. Because yeah. it scared me. I was like, it's like she dropped it straight on her damn head. Mm -hmm. You know? So, okay. But it takes talent. Because Athena, you just already know that she's going to win. Mm -hmm. That's the champion. The champion should have the advantage. I mean, not was after she got in the ring and it was it took a little bit of recovery from the power driver yeah but then she looked at her and said you know you done fucked up that's exactly what she said to her <laughs> yeah you know you done fucked up and athena looked like huh mm -hmm. almost a little girl came out of athena like dad didn't pull the belt out daddy what huh um okay so yeah okay i, I threw a brick in your car but i mean it was an accident i was aiming for the b <laughs> something they look, they look haggard. The, the, yes. Style, the hair the was all messed part. up. <laughs> hair was all messed up. Makeup was kind of running. Mm -hmm. They were sweating. They were tired. They yeah, were I mean, messed up. was bleeding from behind her left ear. Who knows what caused that? Open one of the earrings that got yanked out. I ain't thinking about that till just now. But no, it was high up. It on was the high ear. up. She was bleeding from up here. And somewhere. it seemed like it was getting in the ear, too. So. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, if it was getting in the ear, it was probably because it was bleeding from around both sides. It was bleeding from the back and around from the top. And Something. then she's laying on the mat, so it keeps yeah. rolling in. That's real possible right there. Um, ultimately, with cheating from the minions, Athena wins with a diving, twisting whippersnapper that she calls the O face, and she got a pin. Yep. Now, I'm I'm gonna call it out. I was frustrated with Aminata. She. She should not do the double foot stomp. She don't need to do it. Yeah. Because the first time, when she came off those ropes, I didn't feel comfortable the way she dove. I didn't. I looked the way she dove. I'm like, this don't look right. And when she, she supposedly to hit the move. Now, if you're the fans on anywhere, you would think, okay, fine. She hit it. But the camera, camera angle, she missed but she was so close. Mm -hmm. Her heels had to at least touch. You're like her a, heels just scraped down her arms, what it looked like. And she missed. Mm -hmm. But if she had accidentally hit. Like she would have messed her up. Yeah, she would have broke her arm or ribs. She hit flat. There was no. She wasn't leading with the toes. She didn't have her feet bent, her knees bent the right way or nothing. There's a way to do that double foot stop and not hurt somebody. You can land in their guts and not hurt them. No. And then she did it again and missed, but she was designed. It was designed for her to miss. Mm -hmm. But it was the same way. I was like, no, you need to stop. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. Plus, if you're not going to win with it, don't even try. If it's not your finish that you can win with, don't. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. But that had the promise to be a five-star match, but the minions got involved, and it looked bad. 
and too many epic flubs that I saw. Little bitty flubs. They're tiny things. But their strike, the strike exchange can take me out. But it was, it was laying into each other on their strike. Them forearms. Yep. Good grief. And uh, I'm not a double overhand chop. Yes. That's a thing of beauty. My goodness. Damage. That's what... When she chopped, it was like she's trying to cause damage. Mm -hmm. I mean, Nada is good. She is very good. She's not fully seasoned, but she's good. Mm -hmm. She's been wrestling a while, but there's a lot that she's still got to learn and choices that she and her partner in that ring is going to have to make that kills some of the, the bad. Um, but I do trust that she will get a lot better in time. I do trust that. Um, what the? My keyboard's off. I was like, why am I not in the space bar? Anymore? There we go. Um, now, main event, co main event, but main event, Ring of Honor World title match Roderick Strong versus Mark Briscoe. Um, the leading co main event didn't fall, didn't fail to deliver. You cannot judge a book by its cover. Strong looks like a sniper that goes home to be an ultra-conservative dad, but yes. he can still go just like in his younger days, but with far more experience to carry a match. Yeah. He looked like he should be in there with three names, like Roderick Douglas Strong. Yeah. And he just got back from killing people, and he goes home, and, and as, you, as you had made the mention of, tell his... His, his children to stop watching Looney Tunes because it's violent. Because it's too violent. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he looked like. Roderick Benedict Strong. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. Because that works. Benedict and Ben a dick. Huh. You know, he's a heel. So, this was a damn good match. Yeah. Okay. Couldn't give it five stars. Well, could I, I, okay, could I give it five stars? Emotionally, kind of. Logically, kind of. They did most everything right. It was a struggle. It had heat going into it. The issue for me is, and I think most would join me on this, I knew 100% Roderick would lose. I knew he was going to lose. Look, the man is freaking awesome at wrestling he will make you believe everything he does in that ring but he doesn't look nearly like a champion he don't mark looks like a champion because he looked too crazy to not be yeah he done out crazy to everybody it's a shame because if you if you if you get rid of Roderick's clear glasses and shave off that stupid 70s porn stash. Then he just looks plain. Yes. Just looks like plain dude. <laughs> I think, <laughs> honestly, I'm going to tell you this. I think Roderick should grow his hair out. All right? No hair bangs. Grow his hair out so it hangs just a little. Have a trimmed goatee. Not a thick mustache, but a goatee. Maybe a thicker goatee, thinner mustache. He needs to have that. Dye his hair black. Give him a more youthful look instead of the graying that's happening. It might be alright. Maybe. It might be alright. I don't know. Y'all tell me what to think about that. But I think Roderick should be a champion. I think he could be world champion. But his appearance just says never. Mm -hmm. It sucks. I don't like to go on appearance. But it just it just screams no. No, not no. No, go somewhere and be a sniper dad. Just, um, that's gonna be a B movie. Sniper dad. Mm -hmm. You know, you ought to look that up and see if it will be or if it <laughs> is. I'm, I'm, I'm. There's got to be. If somebody's had to done it. Um, they did well making sure that Mark didn't get the froggy bow until the end. Yeah. You know that was done perfectly. Roger the, fro the froggy bow early on, and Roger got his knees up. And it was bow to knee. Bow to knee collision. <laughs> they were both holding it. And we were just making jokes. <laughs> that was a bow knee situation. So. <laughs> Roderick used the J-Driller, which was good for a heel to do. And Mark kicked out on one. 
which was great. Pride and anger should do that. Mm -hmm. Mark got juiced after being flung into the post, and that was done properly. Uh, tons of interference that made the crowd angry. Mm -hmm. So perfect on that. Oh, they were incensed. They were pissed. Mark hit the froggy bow, got the pin. I I want to say five stars, but I, I I'm like I I could give it like four and 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 you know four four and, and, and three quarters or four and whatnot. I don't know. I don't know. But I just can't give it that five. It's like a a, a point five from that. Okay. The reason is because I just knew I knew that Roderick was going to lose. You see what I'm saying? It's like yeah. a very competitive squash match for a belt. There wasn't anything that made me think Roderick might take this. Especially with the build up and the whole backstory of Mark being viewed as the, the little brother back in the day that yeah. would be good enough. You're going to show and, all this? And, 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 then, and then for Mark to lose the, lose the match and then lose the belt to the dude who said you'd never be good enough? No, that would suck. There, there, there's a lot that I could say about why this isn't good. But if you, if you remove the knowledge of you know who's going to win, who's going to lose, and you remove the outside interference, this would be an easy five-star match. Beautiful. I didn't see any cooperation. I didn't see any stupidity. It was a fight from beginning to end. It was a fight. The Messiah, the Batbreaker showed up. Yeah, he did. They did everything. They whooped each other's ass. They did it right. You say five stars, easy. Y'all let me know what y'all think out there because I, I'm, I just, I, I just. Roderick Strong needs to have shorts on instead of what he wears. That will help too. Think so? Yes. But see, I thought he was wearing shorts. I thought they came down the thigh. No, they're like. So he's wearing the, the tidy whitey type ones? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. And he's already very fit. Maybe if he got like 5% more tips. What? You need to get bigger? No, not bigger. More cut. Why? Hey, I'm trying to well make you like a champion. He'll need to be bigger, just a little more defined. I think he's right where he needs to be. Okay. It's just... I'm just trying to help. <laughs> I don't think... You look like somebody drug his head through, through some dust. <laughs> and then said, go do a porn shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, get my glasses get right on that. <laughs> <laughs> See the problem? <laughs> so, eh, that's going to do it. That's 43 minutes on this. I think we go that long, but okay. You know? So, look, this has been Cedric Cedric for CRS and commentary on Ring of Honor's Death Before Dishonor pay per view. And with that, we want y'all to be cool, be chill, be safe. We're going to get into some G1 so that we can see you next time.